Set a joke. All right, let's uh, let's take it out with uh, with the six worst draft picks in NBA history, and it's brought to you pick six by Davidson's Lakers. And you need to go beyond that because I wait, asked, wait, 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 yeah, wait. That's fine, but uh, yeah, because I I tried to get this clarified, and and you and Josh wouldn't clarify. It's open to oh, interpretation. It's open to okay, number six then. All right, am I going first? Six what? worst picks in NBA history. Okay, Woody's pick six. Because there's a lot of ways you go. Worst overall, uh, worst guys. Michael Oliver Candy Crush. I think you misspelled <laughs> his name. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Candy Crush. I get it. <laughs> I And, and I'm going to tell 10 second story. I wanted him for the Nuggets. And he turned out to be a, just a horrible player. He's just one of those guys that wouldn't develop. But I thought he was going to be a great player. But I also said Yao Ming, eh, never make it. Yao Ming would have been if he. <laughs> He yeah. kept healthy. Well, no, but I'm, I was wrong about yeah. Yao Ming. I thought he was like one of those skinny oh, guys. Oh, you thought he'd be a stiff. Number yeah. five. So he was drafted by the L.A. Clippers, uh, number three overall. Number one overall, Frank Selvey. Remember Frank Selvey? I do. Well, I don't remember him. I know about him, though. He's drafted in 1954. I'm educating all you people. Number five is Frank Selvey. And he was followed. He was number one overall pick in the NBA draft in 54. And the next guy drafted was Bob Pettit. He was one of the five greatest players in the history of the NBA. So, there's, there's a mistake. Frank Selvey was a nice little jump shooter. Greg Oden, I think we'd all agree, you got to put him on every list you ever bring up. Greg Oden is now going to try and make it with the Mavericks or somebody. He's, He's not on my Miami list. A little He's bit. not on my list. Greg Oden. I'm uh, still holding out hope. Greg o <laughs> <laughs> You know what he said he wanted to be in college? A dentist. You know what? Concentrate on that, son. Be the world's <laughs> tallest dentist because he can't play dead. And guess what the number two choice was by the Seattle, then Seattle Supersonics, a guy by the name of Kevin Durant. How can you mess that up? Nice job, Portland, because Portland drafted another guy that's on my list. Number three, Sam Bowie. <laughs> Sam Bowie turned out to be not a basketball player. He's a liqueur you buy in liquor stores and you put in <laughs> drinks for shots at the end. Oh, give me a Sam Bowie. Here's a guy that goes down in history. Michael Jordan, who was drafted after him, goes down in history as Be Like Mike, MJ, Mr. Nike. And Sam Bowie is forever known as, I'll have another Sam Bowie. <laughs> put three beans in it. <laughs> Number two. Cy Green, and Les would know him. He owned the look uh, on the jewelry store next to your dad's Cy Green, right? Yeah. <laughs> there was Cy and Phyllis Green. <laughs> yeah. I they were our neighbors too. Cy Green was drafted number one <laughs> in 1952. St. Louis drafted number two. You, this nice little story. St. Louis drafted number two. They drafted a guy named Bill Russell, and the St. Louis Hawks are forever known because Bill Russell. Wait. St. Louis traded him to Boston. <laughs> Bill Russell was number two. They traded him to Boston for a couple of really great players. All he did was win, what, 11 championships in 13 years? What did Cy Green win? He opened a jewelry store. <laughs> and married, got the Mary Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> number one, Bruce Jitter. Huh? Huh? Explain. I have to explain. Explain. In 1977, in the NBA draft, a general manager said, "We're going to best. We're going to draft the best athlete available." He drafted Bruce Jenner, who's gone on to what people know today as a guy who never played in the NBA. <laughs> that was the That's worst draft pick for. of That's all time. That's what he's known time. for. <laughs> Did you not know that? I all right, I've got two minutes to run through mine. And you think I'm making that up? 1977. Look it up. You can look it up. Bruce Jenner was drafted. Forget Michael Sale. <laughs> All right. my, my six worst picks in NBA history. I'm going to start off with, I, I've got to give the local team some oh, love here. On. Rafe LaFriends. He was not. He was the, the number three pick overall. Well, all time. Terrible. Was, Terrible. Was, Tor, was, Torres ACL had virtually no NBA career whatsoever. Nuggets had the number three pick in the draft overall, and they used it on Rafe LaFriends. Number five. He was worse than Sissabini? <laughs> Darko Milicic. Uh, right after Darko Milicic was taken with the number two pick in the draft, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, 
Chris Bosh. All three could end up in the Hall of Fame. Are any My guys, number four. Are any of you guys fishermen? LaRue Martin. He would if he took him fishing, he would take a shotgun and shoot. LaRue them. Martin. The number guppies? one pick overall in the oh, NBA in oh, nineteen seventy two, taken some... by Portland. When they could have had <laughs> Bob McAdoo, <laughs> not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> number three. Chris Washburn was taken. Third overall in the uh, in the draft by the Golden State Warriors. Oh, this is a guy who they knew had a bad work ethic and who had a drug problem. They knew it. And what happens? He gets into the NBA, and he has a bad work ethic and a drug problem, and he washed out very, very quickly. Oh. Number two. Ooh, that's good. Len Wash, Bias. Wash burned out. <laughs> Len Bias, who was taken number two overall by the Boston Celtics and who died two days after the draft because the Celtics didn't do their homework either. He had... A problem with cocaine. And number one, Drambuie. What was it, Drambuie? Drambuie. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you take this guy, before you take the guy who ends up the greatest basketball player in the history of the game, you've made a mistake. Who Although, was, I, can who I tell you something? drafted before I, him, though? Well, Akeem Olajuwon. But, but i got to tell you, when Sam Bowie was taken, I didn't have a problem with that pick because Sam Bowie was maybe the most athletic big man I'd seen in a long, long time, and Portland was desperate for, for a size. I'm like you. And then he breaks his foot 17 times. Yeah. I had no problem with it because I didn't care a damn about the well, Portland Trailblazers. <laughs> well, we didn't know Michael Jordan was going to be Michael Jordan. We knew he was a good college player, yeah. but we didn't know he'd be well, in, Michael Jordan. In, in retrospect, if you're Houston, would you rather had him than, than Akeem? Who I think let, Houston would tell you they're pretty happy with a Hall of Fame center who won two NBA yeah. titles. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, by the way, those two NBA a... titles were, were won the two years Michael Jordan left the league. Pick six sponsored by Davidson's Liquors. Fans of this show, the sports show, can get $10 off any online order of $50 or more. You have to go to DavidsonsDenver.com to take advantage of this promo, and you use the promo code SportsShow10. So go to DavidsonsDenver.com, order some booze, pick it up at the store, they'll deliver it to you if you'd like at DavidsonsDenver.com and use the coupon code. Sports Show 10.